you don't resolve it. That's why the Ritz-Carlton literally has a policy that says, take care of it. Because what's their value proposition at the Ritz-Carlton is very straightforward. It is not to be a home away from home, which is what they thought for a while. It's all about being a loving parent's home. Well, what does that mean at an emotional level? Think about what that drives. If you're an employee in a company and they tell you, here's what you do, you create a loving parent's home for people who come to you. That means that you are responsible for making sure everything's okay. Because what would mom do? I mean, think about it. First off, I don't want a home away from home because I have to take my own sheets out of the dryer at my house. <laughs> that would be an ugly ho hotel experience if I were there. What do I want? I want somebody to not only take, make sure the sheets are taken care of, but what did mom do? Mom made the refrigerator full of food that I liked. It was so cool. <laughs> that doesn't happen anymore. I have to go buy my own liked foods, but mom had it there. And then when there was a problem, something happened, somebody called, you know, you'd call mom and you'd say, Mom, we're out of toothpaste. And mom would say, it's okay. I'll take care of that for you. It's all right. She didn't say what modern businesses say. What'd you do to the toothpaste? <laughs> we, we put toothpaste there for you. I don't understand. You must have done something wrong. Or let's take it that one step further. Maybe you get somebody who cares a little bit more and they say something like, well, okay, I'm sorry you have a problem with the toothpaste. I'll call someone. Maybe they'll get you some toothpaste. Mom didn't say, hey, we'll call your uncle. Maybe they've got toothpaste. Maybe they don't. <laughs> By the time they bring it over, your teeth could rot out. I don't really care. <laughs> to Ritz Carlton, that's why employees are given a $2,000 per day per guest, per diem, that says you can do anything to recover service or enhance the experience up to $2,000 per day. Now, people are good stewards. They don't use that $2,000 recklessly, but they know they have that empowerment so that when an uh, assistant to the assistant busboy sees you at breakfast and asks how your day is, and you say, it's good, but for some reason you're lame like me, and you say, well, it's good, but my TV turner doesn't work in my room, that busboy has the ability to say, that should have never happened to you. I'll take care of it. While you're having breakfast, calls the chief of engineering, make sure that you're remote control is taken care of in your room, comes back over to you and says, I just want to let you know, Mr. Jones, that the chief of engineering replaced your remote control. It's all taken care of. And I imagine this interrupted your breakfast and you didn't enjoy it as much as you might have with that disruption. So I'd be glad to comp you your meal. You're a bus boy. <laughs> Comping that meal, 20 bucks. Failing to comp the meal, shoot it up a level, that's 200 bucks. Shoot it up to corporate, that's 2,000 bucks. That's a suite. But you'd rather spend that 2000 bucks than lose the million dollar lifetime value of that customer.